What is cracking, Hope Nation? It is your friendly neighborhood, Kevin Hines, and it is Black History Month, the month of February, which should be every single month, but we'll take the one month that they give us. Uh, I wanted to take this time to give thanks to all of the mental health pioneers and brain health advocates in the black community. But in particular, I wanted to give a shout out to and highlight three individuals as they made a huge impact and dent in the society in the brain health community today. Dr. Solomon Carter Fuller was a pioneering African-American psychiatrist who made significant contributions to the study of Alzheimer's disease. He was born in Liberia. He was the son of a previously enslaved African who had purchased his freedom and emigrated here. He graduated from Boston University School of Medicine, which is a, is a homeopathic institution and was open to both African-American students and female students, uh, which they were pioneers in that regard. He spent the majority of his career practicing at Westboro State Mental Health Hospital in Westboro, Massachusetts. And while there, he performed his groundbreaking research on the physical changes of the, of the brains of Alzheimer's patients. Dr. Fuller was one of the first known black psychiatrists and worked alongside Dr. Alzheimer himself, who first discovered the traits of Alzheimer's disease in 1901. Amazing. The second person I want to highlight is Dr. Paul Cornley, who is the founder of the National Student Health Association in 1939, president of the Physicians Forum of 1954, and founder of the first president of the District of Columbia Public Health Association in 1962. Dr. Cornley was also the first African-American elected as the president of the American Public Health Association in 1968. Dr. Cornley's professional work focused on the development of the public health initiatives aimed at reducing health care disparities among the chronically underserved. He also made significant contributions to the civil rights movement through his efforts to desegregate health facilities across the U.S. Additionally, Dr. Cornley conducted research studies in tuberculosis, venereal diseases, and scarlet fever utilization of physicians, extenders, and its effect on the cost and quality of health care and the effects of social and cultural factors on the health and healthcare utilization. He published over 100 scientific and popular articles. Dr. Cornley retired in 1973 as Professor Emeritus in the Department of Community Health and Family Practice of Howard University College of Medicine. Dr. Cornley passed away, sadly, in February, February 9th, 2002 in Black History Month 2002. And the third and final person I want to highlight is someone that I know well today. He's a great friend of mine. His name is Victor Armstrong. Uh, he is the director of Atrium Health, uh, in North Carolina, and he is one of the greatest brain and mind health advocates and suicide prevention and mental health advocates that we know today in the black community. Uh, Vic Armstrong, shout out to you, all the hard work you do, the work you put in. You're an amazing man with a heart of gold. You're an AAS member, uh, American Association of Suicidology, and you do so much more. It's an honor to know you and call you my friend and my brother. Guys, that's my note for Black History Month. That's my vlog for the day. A little bit of a different vlog today. Had to do it for the, for the history of our culture and I wanted just to say be here tomorrow every day after that you are valued you are worthy you are loved and you matter to me and if you want to just help me out right here hit subscribe click the bell get, click that post notification give us a thumbs up and share this with at least 10,000 of your favorite friends bye guys and be here tomorrow <laughs>